Greetings and salutations, you guys. Hey, I'm here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Because all doing fantastic. I am in the kitchen. I actually just finished having breakfast with mom. Um, I made these delicious, like, I don't even know what they're like, breakfast burrito taco -y things that uh, I make. And I found like this kind of like recipe online that like I kind of copied a little bit, but I kind of like changed it up with like the stuff that you put inside, but it's um, like a low calorie carb and low, yeah, low calorie and carb like breakfast thing. And I'm gonna make one for John right now. So I wanted to show you guys how I make it before I clean up the kitchen because it is a mess in here right now. And I'm gonna show you guys some other stuff that I thrifted recently and I'm really excited about. So um, let's get started though. So let me show you guys what I have right here. First of all, I have this turkey taco meat that mom made. Um, I think we have a recipe for it somewhere. If not, it's probably on our Instagram, which is linked down below in the description box. But it's Hadrian's mom. If you don't already follow her, give her a follow because her food is so, so good. But she makes this. Uh, we make it into all sorts of different things. You can actually use it for like salad, um, this taco or thing that I'm making right now. You can put in burritos. Mom also makes empanadas with them. So it's so, so good. And then I have the garlic Trader Joe's spread dip, which is amazing. This is literally good on like everything. Then I have some of this Q-Pie. I don't know how to Q-P, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's Japanese style mayonnaise. This is what I use for sushi, but it's good in sandwiches and all that stuff as well. And then for our, um, what are these called? Uh, <laughs> for our um, wrap, Thing, we're going to be using these La Bandarita tortillas and these are the low carb counter ones they have five net five grams of net carbs per serving which is awesome and then I just have some chopped up lettuce right there I have some avocado and then oh we're also gonna put some cheese so let me show you guys how I do this I'm gonna heat up the pan and I'm going to get my avocado spray I love this stuff it is fantastic and I just give this a little spritz the way this comes out is like so weird but it's cool so I'm just gonna let that warm up and then I'm gonna actually put the cheese on the pan first so that it melts and then I kind of like to like make it a little crunchy so um, I'm gonna let that heat up and then we're gonna put the cheese on so I have like a one-third little scoop of cheese right here and I kind of just like Spread it all out over the top of this. And it doesn't really matter how you do this because it's pretty much all gonna like melt together. I get the tortilla and I just put it on top. And I kind of just like swish it around so that the cheese all kind of like sticks to it. I just like let it sit there for a second and then let the cheese really melt and kind of like brown and crisp a little bit, almost like a pizza. And then I'm gonna flip it over. All right, I'm gonna flip it. I got this um, giant flippy thing, or a spatula, I don't know what this thing is called. But I got it from the thrift store and it's like literally the perfect thing for this. Um, so you flip it over with the cheese. It might get stuck, but it's okay. You can just eat it. And then we're gonna put a little thing. I'm actually gonna lower the heat a little bit. I'm gonna put some garlic. So I don't use much at all. Like I just put like a little, come on. This thing is like going crazy. I just like really spread it like along the bottom like this. And I kind of just do it in the middle where the meat's gonna go. But that's like perfect. Like that's so little. Like the um, one third of a cup of Mexican cheese is only 110 calories. This one is only 150, but that's for like two tablespoons. And we used about like half a tablespoon. So half a tablespoon, like that's probably like, I don't know, um, 70, not even 75, maybe like 50? No, I don't even know. My math is not working right now. Um, so now that we have that on, we're gonna get some of the turkey meat on here. And I calculated how many calories this is. It's probably gonna be, around like 350 calories and the carbs are really low probably around like six or seven cal or seven carbs so it's low carb and low calorie which is delicious and you get so full from this so after i do that i'm going to get some of my qp q 
Occupy mayonnaise. And we're just gonna put like a little squiggle. Like you don't need a lot. Like everything is just for flavor. And you don't need too much to like get that taste. So um, I do that. And then I'm just gonna get some of my some lettuce right here. And we're almost done. This is super fast to make, especially when you have everything like kind of prepared already. I put that there and I'm just gonna get my avocado, which I'm gonna need two hands for. Okay, so we got that. Now I'm just going to put the thing on here. So hold on one second. Okay, so we have it on there. And then now I just like to fold it and I kind of like make it into like a giant taco. And it's crunchy and it's delicious and there you go. Um, sometimes I put tomatoes in it, but I got lazy and didn't cut any, but it's okay. John doesn't really like tomatoes that much anyway, so um, there we go. And then we just put a little bit of like a hot sauce or something on it and then it's delicious, low carb, low calorie, super filling. And it, I've been eating these for like a hot second already for breakfast and I'll do like different variations. I'll put different meats inside and then yeah, I've been successfully losing weight by eating this for breakfast, and it's delicious. And there we go. Now we're all set to finish cleaning up, which is a lot. So let me get that done so I can get the rest of today started. Um, oh, these are some of the things that I got. Okay. So let me start off. I got this really cute little cat's. Uh, I think this was a cookie jar originally. I'm gonna use it for plants. So I'm gonna look for a plant right now to put inside of there. But I also got these cups. This one looks kind of like the green ones that I got from Target. Not Target, Starbucks. Like, look at that, they're like very similar, right? And that when I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, is that a Starbucks cup? Because even the handles are the same. And I wouldn't be surprised if they were from the same manufacturer, but um, I love this yellow color. I think it's super duper pretty. It's from Parker Lane. I don't know what that brand is, but um, I got this from the park. It was like, I think it was like 99 cents or $1.99, something like that. Um, and we're gonna wash this. Sorry, you're looking at like the dirty sink. Um, then, I need to put that cheese away. I got this uh, Natalie Let for Anthropology mug. And I'm so excited because, is it in here? Oh, I have the matching bowl to go with it. And I also have a plate. So I'll show you guys how that looks in a second, but we're gonna just throw that in the sink as well. Uh, we'll put the cheese away. Well, okay, let me grab a plant and then we'll do this. Okay, I got the perfect one. Um, we've had this one that like, I don't even know where that plant came from, um, but look how cute this is gonna be. Oh my gosh, I'm already dead. It is adorable. Look at that. Oh, I need to clean it, but look how cute. It's like a little cat. Who knew? It's a kitty cat. Hold on. Like this other plant. Their foliage is intertwining, but how fun. I love it. I'm so excited. Right, now it's time to start cleaning up the kitchen. Okay, I just heard the doorbell ring. I think something just got delivered. So let's go see what it is. But I still have a couple things I wanna get done over here. Um, I actually thrifted this Jagnormous Hydro Flask and it is really dirty. I don't know if it's just like been sitting somewhere collecting dust, but it is like kind of atrocious. So look at like the top. We're gonna clean this up and see how clean we can get it. 
Okay, I like I don't know why I never looked inside here. I normally do, but it's actually super duper clean in the inside. So it's just the outside that's like really dirty. Um, but so far so good. All right, let's continue. Okay, so I think he's, I'm like literally sweating. The water was so hot that I was using. Um, I think we're good to go. Like I washed it really, really well. Oh, it's kind of like weird and sticky still underneath. Um, I'm gonna wash it again. The inside though, like I bleached it and all that goodness inside, even though it was really clean in there. So um, I bleached it and washed it and I think it's good. Just making sure all the bleach is out, but I think I'm gonna wash the bottom again because it's kind of sticky still. So I'll wash the bottom again, but I think it's gonna be good to go. Then I just have this stuff to clean and then we'll be done with the kitchen. All right, here it is. I think it you know, like has a little, little like, couple little imperfections like I don't know what happened here but I think some of the paint has come off and a little bit on the body as well but I'm not mad at it like I don't know if something spilled on here you can see there's like kind of like a like right there do you see that it goes like down um, that like ruined the finish on it or something. I think I might be able to like seal it with something, um, some sort of like sealant or like a hodgepodge or something to like reseal the exterior. But I might even be able to like paint something on it or do something like that because it's not actually dented. It's just like the paint or the finish. But I actually don't mind because then I'm not gonna be worried about denting it myself. Plus this is like big, and like it's kind of like rough and tumble already anyway. I don't know. I thought there was soap in there still. But yeah, I'm excited. I don't want to see if the lid fits from I wanna see if like this dropping fits on here, but I don't think it does. But it might. If it does, I'll be really excited. Oh, it's not. Yeah, the lids are different. Never mind. It's okay though. But there we go. I'm just gonna let it empty out like this. All right, I wanna give you guys a quick review on these these are the hex clad pans and um mom bought one i think this one actually i think this is the one that she bought this is the first one this is the first hex clad that we bought and it is fantastic it cleans very easily it's like super non-stick so things will still stick to it but um like right now i don't know if you can even see but like right there it has kind of like some burnt on like oil grease, but all you need to do is get like one of these like Brio things or whatever these are. It's like the steel wool with like the um, detergent on it and clean it up and that comes off right away. And then stuff kind of like will get stuck right here. Like that's kind of the same stuff that's on the other side. Um, but it cleans off very easily. And these are probably some of the best pans we've ever purchased that we really like. We use them every single day because you guys know mom cooks every single day and I'll use these as well to cook stuff or reheat things and they are fantastic and pretty easy to clean. I love, love, love them. Uh, before these, we tried the, what are they called? Um, the Always Pan or they were like the, the ones that came in the fun colors. Hold on, I think I have one. 
Okay, these. Oh, it's the R place. So they're the R place pan. Okay, aesthetically, these are gorgeous. Like when you first get them, they're so pretty. The inside is actually super duper nonstick. They, it's if they. I like. I love the pans a lot. The only thing is, when things don't stick into the inside, they stick onto the outside. Like there's like we always try to clean it meticulously after we use them. But very quickly, I think not even within a month, like this started to happen. And there's no way you can get this stuff off without like ruining the finish of the pan. So great pans, not great for trying to clean the outside. Um, I don't know if they'd be maybe better for like a, a stove that maybe is like an electric stove. Maybe it's better on those and I don't know, the stuff won't come off. But yeah, it's a hot mess. Um, I will use it still occasionally, and like the inside is still in great shape, but the exterior, like it, everything just sticks to it, and that is just not the best. So. I don't know, like maybe if, maybe if you're like someone that doesn't really cook as often, or um, just like, you just like the aesthetic of the pan, then like, perfect that it works out like it's still a good pan but it, it's kind of pricey for some uh, for a pan if you're going to use it like all the time and then it turns into that um maybe get the black one maybe it won't show as much but you probably still it'll probably still turn like that weird brown color right um which inevitably like happens to some pans you know um but crazy too is that this pan mom bought this from like a korean grocery store i think it was from h mart and i don't know what this pan is like made out of but like literally nothing sticks to this like it it doesn't even get like that weird like greasy stuff that this pan will get so i don't know what this is made out of like it is fantastic and the whole thing is like coated in it and i feel like nothing ever happens to it i don't know like we haven't had this one as long as this one but um so far so good and i think this is not as expensive and but i think these are like literally always sold out so if you ever see these or if you ever see them at like h mart if you ever go to like a korean grocery store because that's the only place mom's ever seen these um pick them up pick, like look at what it looks like i don't know what the it's made out of and then i just noticed i like the outside right here these are like little flowers isn't that cute oh it's something scrape onto it anyway the best pans that we've ever used. These two, they are fantastic. But this one does require a little bit of maintenance, but it's probably because these are the ones that we literally will use the most. And like usually with like high heat, though mom does a lot of frying in that pan. But this one is easy to clean. You literally just use one of these things and those marks like will come off so it's fantastic um my only thing is you should try to remove the marks as soon as possible because if you wait the marks kind of just like grow in size and kind of like difficulty to remove and especially like in where the screws are and stuff um the oil tends to accumulate around there so get those quickly and these areas right here are just like really hard to get like things just like stick to it um and it's kind of like harder to get to it with the little stainless steel thing so if anyone has a hack for like getting rid of those things easier because like you can use this to remove it but it's just like kind of hard and I tend to kind of let those sit a little bit longer than normal because <laughs> it's like kind of annoying to try to um, remove the mark. But I'm just gonna go ahead and give this one a good cleaning. That way it's nice and clean. But yeah, I think someone asked for like how we liked like a, a review on these and 
we really really like them we've used so many different um kind of pans before we had like the calphalon we have the all clad we have like the all the we've tried like a lot of different pans and these have been one of our faves so far especially with the amount of cooking that happens Hey guys, it is now the next day. Uh, so I didn't really film that much yesterday. I just did, um, I did facials for pretty much everyone. Um, we did some microdermabrasion and I used um, some new like skincare stuff that I was pretty excited about. And I feel like that stuff is pretty good. So um, that's done. It is now the next day. I have to go to the post office. Uh, I cleaned up this morning, had breakfast with mom and dad, and now we're gonna go drop off some packages, and hopefully, I, I, I have a feeling that the mail person might be somewhere around here, so hopefully I can drop off mail, and then just head over to Veterans Thrift, and also, it is pretty warm today, like I am in like full summer attire, I have my shorts on, but check out how warm it is right now it is 80 degrees it is so exciting it's just been so cold recently so i'm really excited to be outside in like the warmth uh but it does still get pretty cold at nighttime. well not like that cold but like colder and then i think the temperatures might drop down again um a little bit but i'm going to enjoy the warmth right now which is kind of crazy i feel like it's never this warm during this time of year so I, the weather just has been nuts i feel like um this winter so anyway i'll see you guys again in a second all right you guys we just got to super excited hey guys there's this gucci bag right here whoa 300 well, it's fake, unfortunately. So sad though. Alright, let's see what else we have over here. This Patricia Nash is like selling this one. Oh, I saw this one yesterday. It's a day. Why is everything so pricey? It's like a fake Telfar. <coughs> or Yanni. 95 also. With Michael Kors. 40. Oh, I don't know if my camera was filming this whole time, but it probably was. Um, we're in the regular handbag section now. Let's see if we can find anything interesting. American Red. Banana Republic. This 
Chuck and guys. I love that it's like furry inside. This one's 20 bucks. Let's see what's over here. This is like a weird crack off, but it's the pleather ones. Chico's. Oh, stop the little Louis at the time. I wonder if this is real. Hmm. Wait, let me see how much it is first. Yeah. Okay. We're panicking. The Lord, we're being strong. This feels like Vachetta. That's good. Um, this stamping looks a little suspicious and I don't see anything inside they're asking 50 bummer the stamping like the font is totally wrong inside and the stamping already looked a little suspicious so this is so cute but we're gonna have to pass it is so cute though I wish it was cheaper a cute little small bag. Okay. Um, just looking through the rest of the bags. There's this coach that's 10. Uh, the fabric is a little threadbare on the corner. So, pass. Getting your Drake bag for five bucks. This is cute. We should get this. No, it's not a fossil. What's this? Looks vintage, but don't think it's leather. Oh, but it's 50 bucks. Wait, 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 no. Hey, the Rebecca from the main closet is like the cutest one. Is this real fur? <laughs> I think it is. Now I'm just looking through the cases. I don't know if I see anything interesting in here. Okay, here is the next case. I think I've seen pretty much all this stuff already. I don't think I've really added anything new into here. We have some watches. Some sunglasses. Oh, those look interesting. Those gold ones? What are those? They got some belts. Oh, is that a Versace belt? I wonder what that other one is, too. We're gonna ask to see those in a second. And they have these kind of cool looking watches down here. They have a mark by mark watch, also. Here's the Versace belt. I think it's the one, but it's kind of expensive. It's too much. I'm pretty sure this one's real. 
Okay, just looking at the bags now. Let this go to the play. Oh, this looks like a Herschel, but it's not. Thanks for it. I think that's it. These Doc Martens are so cute. There's Teal Toe, made in England, they're navy. They kind of look like a larger, like, I don't know if it's a platform. I feel like that's regular, right? I don't know. Anyway, they're small, kind of like a size 6 or something. So I'm looking through the shoes now. I don't really see anything inside the case. So, let's see what we can find in here. But so far, I haven't really found anything. I found some cute things, but nothing worth really buying at this moment. So, let's see what we can find in the shoes. I wonder if it's the team sweaters now, but it's so expensive. Hey guys, I'm looking through the sweatshirts. I found this Burberry one. And it's 25. I think I'm gonna get this for myself. You guys, I just found this hoodie right here. I looked it up. It's $200. So, it's actually a really cool hoodie. I'm considering getting it, but it's like 35 bucks. But it's really cute. There's this Yves Saint Laurent. Butter and someone wrote fake on it so that everyone knows that it's not real. That's actually perfect. I found another Supreme hoodie, but this one's 125. I don't know if this one's real either. You guys, I just found these Tory Burch boots. They are so cute, but they're 70, 60 bucks. They're in such good shape, too, but they're tiny, five and a half. You guys, I was gonna get this Burberry hoodie or pullover. But I noticed on the sleeve, what side is it on? It's the wrong side. Maybe it's on the other side. There's like a hole that someone tried to fix. Now I can't find it, it's invisible. Found it, there it is. So I don't think I'm gonna get it anymore. It's so cute though, maybe if it was like super cheap. All right you guys, I just found a new but it is pricey. It's 50 bucks. Um, oh, it has all the right things. IPI zipper. This is like cat hair. Ah, there you are! Christine, congratulations! You are the winner of tonight's giveaway! Yay! Sorry, my live chat like takes a second to like update. So there you are. Congratulations. Uh, please send me an email with your shipping info and we will send that wallet out to you. Um, congratulations again. And thank you everyone for being here tonight. You guys are the best. Hey guys, okay, so we are back in the house and I want to share with you guys what I ended up getting from the Goodwill. I'm actually filming this like literally like a week later, <laughs> but um, yeah, I like totally put this off and I have been slacking, so I apologize. So this video, like this vlog is probably gonna go up like pretty late, but here it is, this is what I got. Um, I ended up getting these J. Crew shorts. I really liked the color and I, I don't know, I just like them, they're a good length. It's getting warm again, which is weird, even though, okay, it has, it was kind of, it was like pretty cold, like, um, the past, like, few months, a few months, yeah, a few months, actually, and it's been, like, raining and cold, and I feel like it's the coldest it's been where I live in a long time, and just within, like, the past week, it's been in, like, the high 70s, but in the past two days, it's been raining sporadically, and then it's supposed to be, like, warm again, like, almost in the 80s at the end of this coming week. So I'm just like, what is happening? But it's okay. 
But I got these shorts. They're literally only three dollars, but I think they were on. I think they were twenty five percent off, so they were even cheaper. So I got a great deal on these, and yeah, I'm pretty excited. Um, I love shorts. Pretty much all I wear, <laughs> even in the winter. I I know it's crazy. Uh, then I got this, a, uh, this is an All Saints shirt, um, it's kind of like in this, like, washed out, like, pink color, and it just kind of has, like, this surfboard thing with the palm trees, and then it's the same, uh, design on the back, which I thought was pretty cool. This one was $7, but I believe this one was half off, so $3.50. So I'm like literally filming this because I was like, I need to wash these <laughs> and I'm not going to remember to film a haul if I do not show them. Oh, then I got this Vince, um, like hoodie, which I really like. Like it's like pretty thin material. So it's like not going to be too warm, especially since it's getting warm already. But this guy was $5 and I love like Vince stuff. I feel like they're, like, I love the fabric that they use. I don't know. I really like it. So, pretty excited to, like, be building up my Vince collection. And then, this is probably the coolest thing that I bought, and I think this is my favorite thing that I bought, too. And I love this sweater. It is super duper thick. Um, the fabric is, like, really great quality, and it's cool. It says Luxuria is the brand. And I love that it has this like kind of like a rainbow tie-dye effect and it's on both sides so i think that's really cool and pretty unique what's crazy too though is i looked up this brand and this exact same hoodie is sold out on their website and it retailed for like 200 dollars. so i thought i was uh, i thought this was a pretty good deal though it was 35 dollars at the store but honestly it looks and like feels like brand new so I didn't mind plus I really liked the hoodie and so I didn't mind paying the extra money I didn't want to wait for it to go on sale because I feel like someone would have just like bought it right away if I didn't get it so I got it and that is pretty much the end of our little haul for today uh but I'm going to I think end this video here and then we're going to start another vlog because I think this vlog has been going on for like a few days already and I never ended it so I hope you guys had fun um, this year I'm just gonna try and vlog as much as I can and then kind of just like put all the interesting bits together so it could be a vlog every day it could be a vlog once a week uh, but I still will have videos like thrifting regular thrifting videos and hauls and stuff every day and then the vlogs will be like supplemental so it'll be like it'll instead of like so one video a day there might be two or something like that, or instead of a thrifting video, it might be like a vlog, which will probably include some sort of thrifting too, so uh, you're not going to lose that aspect of it. But yeah, I'm like, this year I'm going to kind of like give myself, because uh, like last year I tried to do the two videos every single day, and I feel like that was like a little much. Though I'm like, I'm just going to like play it by ear this year, definitely one video a day at least, um, because I've gotten pretty used to that, and I, I, I do love filming and editing, but like, just like, um, sometimes vlogging, especially, like, during this time, it's, like, not, I don't know, I feel like, um, it just gets pretty monotonous, and I just don't want to be, like, literally, like, the same thing every single day, so, anyway, that's the end of today's video, I love you guys so much, tune in tomorrow for a new video at 7am, uh, the live sales are every Friday and Saturday night at 10pm Pacific Standard Time, and I do a giveaway every single one of those nights as well, so come join, it's free, it's fun, we get to chat with each other, join the Discord group, all the links down below, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys on the next one, alright, bye guys! <laughs>